What's up guys and welcome to part 10 of tutorial series on AWS audio analysis. In the previous tutorial I have shared an overview of AWS Glue service and in this tutorial we are going to create the database and the crawler uh, within AWS Glue console. So if we have a look at the architecture diagram then we have completed till here right so we have covered this below part and this Amazon Comprehend, Lambda and S3 bucket. Now we, we are remaining with uh, this part, uh, right? That is visualization part as, as a final goal, right? And in the previous tutorial, as I mentioned, uh, I covered overview of AWS Glue. And in this tutorial, we are moving forward with creation of database and crawler, right? So let's jump to the AWS management console and navigate to AWS Glue service. So as I said, uh, we are going to create a new database. So we'll click on database in the left panel. We will say add database. Give it a name. I will name it as AWS audio analysis. Say create. Now post creating uh, the database, we will jump to crawlers. So click on crawlers in the left panel. So what crawlers will do for us? So ideally it will connect to a data store. Uh, in our case, the data store is an uh, this bucket, I mean is an S3 bucket that is AWS audio analysis comprehend bucket, wherever final comprehend outcome or the sentiment analysis outcome resides, right? And then, uh, AWS Glue will invoke inbuilt classifiers to identify the document and um, or the document structure uh, or the data structure within that file. So hence in our case uh, the JSON classifier uh, probably will be the best fit uh, because we have a JSON structured file and later it will determine the schema or the structure for the data and it will create the metadata table in the data catalog under the database that we have just created right so let's go ahead and click on add crawler so give it a name i will say aws audio analysis crawler so you can configure tags description and whatnot i am going to leave it as default click on next so here it's saying specify crawler source type right so we can choose from two options that is data store and existing catalog tables so existing catalog tables are the metadata table that is already being created in the aws glue right so i will just show you that we'll select existing catalog table next so these are the three tables uh, that are created earlier so that's what it's showing me here so we can select these tables as a data source but since uh, here we are going to create a new metadata table right or we want to create new metadata table we are going to select the first option that is data stores and then uh, click on next and then uh, it allows us to select from three options uh, that is s3 jdbc and dynamodb so JD, jdbc um, will allow you to connect uh, with the database like PostgreSQL or MySQL, right? So for that you need to add and add a connection and perform all those configuration. And then we have a DynamoDB, correct? So in our case, it's S3 bucket. So we are going to select S3 and then it's asking for crawl data in specified path in my account, of course, right? So because that bucket resides in my account and then we have a specified path in another account. So we'll select the first option, uh, give it a path. So it's AWS audio analysis comprehend, select. And then we have option of exclude patterns that is of course optional. So if you want to skip uh, some directory, then you can define the pattern here, right? I mean, skip in the sense if you, if you want the scroller to skip crawling to that directory right you don't want that directory to be crawled then you can define a pattern here right so i'm going to leave it blank 
and click on next so you can even uh, add multiple data store here right so if i click on yes then it will uh, take me to the uh, previous screen and it will give an option to select from s3 jdbc on dynamodb right so for example if i i want to define two s3 bucket path then i will select yes and i, I will go ahead and add uh, another data store here right so but uh, right now uh, we have only one data store so i'll select no and click on next and then uh, we have an uh, im rule so you can update policy in an im rule so that is first option so i have this uh, role for example right then it will update this role and it will allow uh, an access to this s3 bucket right so it will update the permissions to access to this bucket right and then we have choose an existing role so here we are going to create a new iam role so i'll say aws audio analysis iam right and click on next so here uh, it's the frequency or the scheduler for this crawler so we are going to select run on demand but you can uh, set the frequency uh, based on your requirement that is hourly daily or choose weekdays that is custom right so that is weekly or you can even choose days customized right and then finally we have custom option so that is a cron job expression so we are going to select run on demand and click on next then finally here we are going to select our database that we have just created uh, right so that is aws audio analysis so here it's asking for prefix added to tables that is optional uh, so let me add com comprehend right so make sure you don't put an hyphen here it only supports alphanumeric and underscore right so comprehend and then uh, we have another two optional thing uh, so that is a uh, uh, grouping behavior for s3 data so in case if, if we have defined multiple data source here so what it will do is it will if, if we are going to select this option then it will try to uh, create a single table for compatible schemas right so as you can see here select this checkbox to group compatible schemas into a single table definition right across all s3 objects right so it will uh, create a single uh, metadata table for similar or compatible schemas right so i'm going to uh, leave it as default and then we have another option to this configuration option so ideally it talks about uh, what if the schema changes or in the data store right then what you want to perform so so here you have certain options you can update the table definition or add new columns on the you can select this option as per your requirement right and then uh, we have another option that uh, what if uh, the objects are deleted in the data store then how you want to manage this behavior right you want to delete table and partition from the catalog or you want to ignore right or you want to mark it as deprecated so i'm going to leave it as default and then click on next and then it's the final step where you will be able to review all the configuration that you have uh, defined or configured right and finally uh, click on finish so that's how uh, uh, we have created the crawler and it's ready to run right so we can just select and we can say run crawler but we are going to run this crawler in the next tutorial right so i'm going to stop here so ideally in the next tutorial uh, we are going to run this crawler to create metadata table and maybe i will also show you that how to create metadata table manually right so i'm cutting this video here and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time